In this video, we will explore the new Desmos Interactive feature within Lumen Ohm. We will first add the college algebra course that includes Desmos Interactives. On the left side of the web page, we will select the Add New Course button. We will then select the Copy a Template Course button. A new window will appear. We will then select the Level tab and then select the College Algebra checkbox. The first course that appears is College Algebra by Lumen Learning and we will select the Copy this Course button. A new window will appear and we will select the New Assessment Player checkbox and select the Submit button at the bottom of the page. We have now copied the College Algebra course into our list of courses that we are teaching with its own course ID number. We will then go back to the home page and select our newly created course. We will scroll down and open the Faculty Resources block. We then will see the Desmos Interactives block and open that. Here we can see all of the Desmos Interactives within this course provided by Lumen Learning. These interactives are also located within the appropriate module for the students and are built based on specific learning outcomes that are outlined in each interactive. We will open Module 4 and see the corresponding Desmos interactives for that module. We will select the Desmos interactive Linear Applications of Formulas. This opens a new window which shows the student view of the Desmos interactive. The student will be able to go through the slides at their own pace and use the interactives to learn the material. We will now go back to our course and scroll down to that same interactive and select the gear icon and select modify to view how the Desmos interactive can be modified. We now see the Desmos interactive in its editable form. This is where we can see and edit the title, start date, end date, and summary near the top of the web page. We will scroll down and can see the slides for the activity, the ability to add a slide, edit the slide, as well as rearrange the order of the slides. We will then select the Edit Desmos Graph button and a new window appears showing the Desmos Interactive in its editable form. If we make changes to the Desmos Graph and select Add, these changes will be made to the activity once we select the Save button at the bottom of the web page. As we can now see, our modified Desmos graph is now saved. We can also preview changes that we make to the assessment by selecting the Preview button at the bottom of the page. This gives us the quick ability to view our Desmos interactive from the student's point of view as we are making changes. We can select the Back to Edit button at the top of the web page to go back to edit the Desmos Interactive. We now know how to view and modify existing Desmos Interactives using Lumen Ohm.